Hey, welcome to the Pharmacy Residency Podcast. I, if you want to have your letter of intent professionally edited, I will do that for you along with uh, your first two uh, additional choices. Uh, I'll help you with those as well. And uh, some of what I do is really helping uh, students go back and forth or even just get started. Um, the letter is hard and uh, your competition is stiff. So, uh, but what I wanted to do was uh, talk about some residency questions and the first question I'm going to <clears throat> address and maybe I'll do like a question a day or a question another day, every other day. And uh, these questions come from 100 strong residency interview questions, answers, and rationales that I wrote with that guy, Brandon Dyson, TLDR Pharmacy. Uh, so uh, the audio book is available on Audible uh, and you can hear 100 questions. But I'm going to go through one question now and uh, it's the classic. Uh, what, why do you want to do a residency? Uh, well, uh, thank you for asking. I, I want to do a residency after graduation because um, while I enjoyed my APPEs, especially those in ambulatory care, uh, at the end of five weeks I really felt like I was getting comfortable, but it was over and on to the next. So I'm looking at residency as that next. Uh, I can't predict what the future is going to hold for our profession, but I think this kind of one-on-one -on -one clinical work that I get to do with patients is uh, an important part of pharmacy's future and I think I can be a lot better prepared by doing this advanced work. And uh, finally, I, I feel very comfortable in the structure of a residency. I like that uh, I'm building my clinical toolbox with uh, required rotations, but there's some electives I'm really excited to talk about with you guys uh, as we uh, go through today and want to just get more information about those as well. So. Uh, those three things, uh, maybe a next step after APPEs, uh, that uh, really I think we're, uh, our profession is advancing clinically and uh, I want to explore a little bit with some electives. Now many of you want to practice your questions and answers and I want to show you how to do that. So what you would do is I would write one question per page and of course you can you know use our uh, questions and answers that we use in the 100 strong residency interview questions answers and rationales but what I want to do is show you how to work on some things that uh, maybe aren't in the book which is pauses which are pauses and inflection so the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your mood in the right place. So instead of answering the question right away, because they're going to be taking a minute to get through their papers and getting ready to write things down, the first thing you can do is look them in the eye and go, well, thank you for asking. And you look at them and you're positive and you're polite and you create this very good vibe. Then you work on point one well, I want to do a residency after graduation because while I enjoyed my APPEs, and then you're taking a breath, just as if there was a comma there, especially those in ambulatory care. At the end of each five weeks, and then you're kind of pausing to think, I felt like I was getting comfortable, but it was over, and then on to the next. So while you're feigning disappointment, you're really saying, well, I just love learning without having to say, I'm just a lifetime learner, which is kind of generic. Well, I'm looking at residency as that next. Okay, so what you've done is you've introduced, you've supported, and you've made the point. And then you need to take a big breath, not, <gasps> but you need to take a pause between the second point to let them know this is the second point, but also to let them finish writing down that first point. Second, while I can't predict what the future will hold for the profession, and I believe this kind of one-on-one -on -one clinical work that I get to do with patients is an important part of pharmacy's future. So when you want to emphasize something, you don't need to say it louder. You can just pause longer and slow down. So is an important part of pharmacy's future. And I think I can be much better prepared by doing advanced work. A lot of times when you leave your phone number and for someone, uh, back when we had to leave our phone numbers because there was no, uh, there, were, there were no answering machines, or the, the answering machines were actually recordings, you would want to make sure that the last two numbers were 
especially slowed down. So my number at work is 515-965-7192. Okay, and that's what you want to think about when you're finishing up. What a lot of people do is tend to trail and they just lose the ending. And so they would go, and I think I can be much better prepared by doing advanced work. And what happens is, is then they're holding their breath and they're trying to make their third point and they're kind of stuck. But by saying, I can be much better prepared by doing advanced work, you're actually slowing down enough that you can now get ready to make that third point. Uh, finally, I feel comfortable in the structure of residency. At the same time, I'm moving forward and building my clinical toolbox with the required rotations, and you can't see this, but I'm opening up my left hand because I'm going to be talk about two things. And then I'm opening up my right hand saying, and there are some electives I'd be really excited about exploring, and I hope to talk to you more about those today. And so I'm opening up in a very friendly posture, but I'm also using my hands and I'm not hiding them under the table. You can summarize as well and say, so in summary, you know, the APPEs were a bit too short. I want to take that next step and learn more. I can't predict the future, but I think advanced clinical is extremely important. And I can't wait to build my clinical toolbox and you know, talk a little bit more about these electives. By summarizing what you've done, you've also allowed them some time to write down what you say and to make sure they get it down. And you may not think this is important, but this is huge because when they go back to their notes and you are dead even with another candidate, they're going to be like, man, I have great notes on this person, but I have very few notes on this person. And they're going to be able to look right back at all the things that you've done because each time you not only made it easy for them to hear point one, point two, and point three, but also you summarized it so that they could have time to write it and to make sure that they got exactly what you were trying to say. So. This is the first one. I'll try to answer some other questions depending on what time I have, but uh, let me know if this is helpful and if you have questions about residency questions.